but how many Question. pairs of underwear you do you pack per day for vacation? <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Crystal and I post lifestyle content. Now, today all I have a travel pack and prep with me. But before we get into the video, I would love if you subscribe to the channel and gave this video a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see all the shenanigans that I get into on my trip to Chicago, make sure that you follow me on Instagram, y'all. I'm going to put it right here for y'all. That's my personal Instagram where I'll be living my best life. But anyway, y'all today we have so much to do my hairstylist canceled on me yesterday so now i have to do my lashes my nails and my brows all in one day it's gonna be a very busy day am i here am i here so we have to get all of it done all four things done very very quickly but we are gonna make it happen i just pulled up to the last studio because that's the first thing on the schedule this morning which is perfect it's a 9 a.m and so yeah I definitely need you to <laughs> it's been through it okay and let's hope it fits my big old head child but I think it does I ordered a large okay I'm not yeah. eating get a time no baby he's the bottom oh, that's yeah. fucking aggression mm -hmm. baby, he's got some pent up energy girl Lou took the huh? I, if they, man, I, I kept up I bought a hundred dollars worth of stuff I probably took three of those items why didn't you send a bit I did send it back. Oh, yeah, I just feel like it looks so nice for it's only been oh, $40. I got a dress like this. Yeah, I have a dress like that, but it was from Fashion Nova. Yeah. Or try to do it myself a couple right of times. Right back the fuck so up. Learn. You, know, you can definitely put it back on Yeah, because it's like, listen, love you, Taylor. And I'm no. a loyal customer. Yeah, definitely. But you can put we about to be in a recession, so I got Okay, y'all, so I just finished my hair. Next on my schedule is to get my nails done. And then we have to go pick up the dress, so I am rushing right now. But luckily, it's still pretty early. Y'all, it is finally time for me to start packing. It is literally <laughs> one in the morning, y'all. My flight leaves at 6 a.m. So I literally am not going to sleep because my flight leaves at 6. So basically, I'm going to just be pulling an all-nighter and have to sleep on the plane. And then luckily, this is the blessing about having friendship that has been long-term friendship. Is that my friends know me. So they know if I haven't slept... I need a nap. I'm like, I know when I get there, I don't gotta do no explaining. They're already gonna know that I need a nap. And that's the blessing of keeping your friends for a while because they don't ask no questions. So right now I'm about to start packing y'all. I am gonna pack my priority. And what that means is the stuff for the wedding is going in first and foremost because that is what I absolutely need. Like there's no ifs, ands, or buts. I need my fits for the wedding. <laughs> Everything else is like I could replace. But the wedding fits, they have to make sure they're in this bag. I just have my packing cubes, y'all. They're not fancy ones or anything. They're just little bitty ones. But I just like them to keep myself organized for when I travel. Also, tell me if I'm the only one, y'all. Like, I know the aesthetic is to have neutrals and stuff like that. But that's not me. Me, I'm an animal print girl. I'm a lime green suitcase girl. That's just who I am. <laughs> and so, I'm not changing just because the trend is neutral. I want myself to pop. This suitcase, I see it coming, I know it's me. I don't ever have to ask no questions. I could be on the plane and be looking down at the tarmac. I know my suitcase made it on the plane. Cause it's like, who else is running around with a lime green suitcase besides like a 13 year old little boy? Me. My dress, um, I'm actually gonna leave it in this plastic. <laughs> but I'm just gonna like fold it. I picked it up from the tailors today and he was so sweet. I love him. He's like, oh, he's like, I think it's going to come out so cute on you. And I was like, yes, sir. I trust you. And then he was telling me how he made sure to steam it for me. And I felt bad because I'm like, sir, little do you know. <laughs> little do you know. This is getting rolled up into a suitcase. But 
I am gonna try to roll it and hopefully that'll save me some wrinkles. But we'll see. I actually did not watch any of these before I decided to make a pack with me video. So I don't know how the girlies are doing pack with me videos. But there's my wedding dress in there now, y'all. And then this is my um reception dinner dress which i already saw if you watched my haul you saw it i am bringing a steamer i'm gonna have a link down below because if you don't have a personal steamer for when you travel what are you doing okay what are you doing you need a personal steamer especially if you're going somewhere formal because all this stuff is gonna be slightly wrinkled so this is my reception dress and then the last dress i have is my um post wedding brunch like the next day like after wedding brunch dress it's just a cute little sundress that's pink so i have that next so for the wedding y'all i'm packing a super basic shoe like a block heel because i hate wearing heels and i hate when my feet hurt and i want to be able to dance the night away <laughs> so i do not want shoes ruining my good time so that's the heels I'm gonna wear with the dress. Oh, y'all can't even see that, child. My bad, y'all be doing y'all so bad. That's my heel I'm gonna wear with. Then I'm bringing this brown sandal. I think I'm gonna wear it with my brunch dress. So like this pink, this pink dress, I think. That's my vision right now. But we shall see. For the purple dress, I went a little different because she told us casual, but I didn't really read the instructions until after the fact. So I kind of got, I got a white block heel. I just think they're cute. And again, y'all, I hate heels. So I always look for like a chunky heel. So I got these. Because I think it'll be pretty with this purple. You see, I think that's like a nice contrast. It's a little unique. Now this next one is going to basically be, if I had to describe it, y'all, it's like your going out dresses, kind of. Like your day party dresses, low key. Like, because you know, it's 4th of July weekend. So the girls are trying to give fits. The girls are trying to get fits. The girls are trying to get looks. And of course, y'all, I'm army rolling everything. <laughs> and I need one more dress like this. I know I have one. I'm just trying to figure out which one I'm going to bring, y'all. Because I like to bring, like, four similar type dresses, which are basically, like, brunch dresses, going out dresses. Oh. Hey y'all, I have kind of a random question, but how many pairs of underwear do you pack per day for vacation? <laughs> because me, I'm that person that packs like three pair per day. It's excessive. I never use them all, but I don't know. It's like my mom will always be like, make sure you bring extra underwear. <laughs> so like right now I'm packing my underwear and I'm like, girl, why do you have so many pairs? But it's just like, that's all I know, you know? Anyway, let me know. How many do y'all pack? Are you an excessive undies packer or are you normal? Because <laughs> me, I'm packing like I'm going to be there maybe for three months. <laughs> but yeah. And of course, got to have the Spanx, y'all. You already know what time it is. You already know. In the words of Big Freedom. Strapless bra. My handy dandy bra that's just like a basic t-shirt bra. And that's really all I need. A lot of the stuff I'm bringing, you can't even wear a bra with, to be honest. So, this is my undies container. So, I have that done. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should put in there. Two bras, a whole bunch of underwear, Spanx. If I can find my pasties, I'll throw my pasties in there just to make sure I'm good to go. But, I don't know where the pasties are to keep it 100. Um, okay, now, y'all, the last thing I need to do is just pack... One more thing of backup outfits and then throw on my shoes, y'all. And we are basically done besides toiletries. But also, I caught the hotel and 
Also, we can do early check-in. They said if we came before 11, they have one room, but it's handicap accessible. And I feel kind of bad taking a handicap accessible room when none of us need it. I don't know if that makes sense. Cause it's like, what if somebody comes and needs the room and we're just in there because I wanted to be able to sleep, you know? So I told the guy, I was like, I'll just ask you once I get there because I feel bad taking like a handicap accessible room, you know? So we'll see. And the last thing I need to pack is activewear. And actually I'm going to take this out and pack activewear. I am bringing activewear and pajamas. I'm bringing three pairs of activewear, like three sets of activewear and one set of pajamas. How many pajamas do y'all pack? I do not pack multiple pajamas because I'm honest with myself. Like girl, one pair, you know, just be honest. Okay, y'all, I'm fading quickly. It's 2 a.m. at this point. So I'm about to probably end this video. But before I do, I want to show y'all four essentials that if I was you, I would always, always, always travel with. They're going to be linked down in the description box. So I'm going on a girl's trip. So there are three girls sh staying in a room together. The most important thing that I always think you should bring is just a little cheap robe. And the reason for that is because, you know, I've known these girls for over a decade at this point. So truly, don't nobody care about changing in front of each other. But sometimes you just want to lounge in the hotel room. You don't want to have on clothes. You just want to be comfortable like you would be at home. So just throw in a cheap robe into your suitcase. So if you want to be doing your makeup in the robe or whatever, you know, you can do that. You get back and y'all are on a little nap break. You can have your robe on watching TV. The second thing, again, if you're going on a girl's trip, just in general, because I'm not going to lie, y'all. I noticed the nicer the hotel, the worser the lighting, if that makes sense. <laughs> because nice hotels, they try to really set like an aesthetic and a vibe, especially depending on where you're traveling. If it's not somewhere that's like known for great views, you're going to have like mood lighting in the bathroom. And nobody has time for that when they're trying to do their makeup. Also, I'm staying in a room with two other girls. So... How many mirrors is there going to be? I don't want those problems. So me, I bring my own little vanity mirror. And this mirror, y'all, is perfect because it closes. And let me show y'all. You just pop it open. It folds like this. So you can put it on the table or whatever. Oop, see? And then it also lights up. Hold on. Oh, my bad, y'all. I need to charge it, I think. Hold on one second. Bad. I need to charge it, y'all. But anyway, it's a little travel vanity mirror. It lights up. Um, if you do buy this though, I'm going to give you a tip. This is very important. Make sure you keep the box that it comes in so that every time you pack it, you can have all the packaging. So I keep this in there. I keep the bubble wrap in there. And then I keep the original box that it came with. Just because I want to make absolutely sure that there is no issue when it's time for me to, you know, use my mirror. And it is a chargeable one. This will be... In the description box, y'all. This is a must. Because think about it. It's four y'all or three y'all in a room. How many mirrors is a hotel room going to have? At the most, three. So you now, you can do your makeup on your bed. You can do your makeup in a corner somewhere. You can do your makeup in the lobby. You're not worried about it because you came prepared. So that is a essential. The next essential I would get, depending on what type of trip you're going to on. If I was going on a beach trip, I probably wouldn't bring this. But maybe it's your own personal steamer, y'all. Your own little handheld steamer. This is mine. It's very tiny. But it just gets the job done as far as like, you know, some of the pieces I'm bringing, I might need to steam them. And so I bring my own just that way. I don't have to worry about the hotel when not working or bringing my stuff. I know this one. Don't just buy it and use it the first day on your trip. Buy this and use it at home on pieces so you can make sure you know how to use it. But yes, this is the last thing is... If you watched my fat friend video, you already know. <laughs> I talked about having to get having your pictures taken and your skinny friends not understanding, right? Well, listen, you don't want those problems. And I played myself with Kansas City because I forgot to bring this. I was rushing. I did not pack it. This time, I made sure to pack it. And what I packed is, hold on one second, y'all. And I keep everything in the original packaging, y'all. I'm crazy. I know. But this is a on-the-go tripod. It looks crazy. <laughs> it looks like something totally different. But this is a tripod. And it comes with its own little remote. So you can electrically do it. You just push a button. Hold on. You just push a button. The legs open. You see you have a tripod. And this holds your phone. And this actually goes up to 60 inches. So it's like pretty tall. 
this i definitely recommend just having this packaging it it's super light i mean it's not super lightweight but it's not that bad considering you know you can just have this wherever you need to have it you're able to take pictures on the go i love this that is another suggestion for y'all and those are my four essentials that i always make sure in my suitcase just for practicality y'all because you need these things for sure the vanity the steamer and the robe the tripod isn't necessary no but if you just want to be able to take your own pictures i'm just about to finish packing if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel y'all i feel like this chicago vlog is about to be lit we have a lot of good stuff planned we're gonna be seeing a wedding just all that so yeah make sure you subscribe y'all and i will see y'all in the next one love you bye question tell me what you think about me i buy my own diamonds and i buy my own rings only ring your sally when i'm feeling lonely when it's all over please get up in me question tell me how you feel about this try to control me boy you get dismissed pay my own condo and i pay my own bills almost 50 50 in relationships question tell me what you think about me i buy my own diamonds and i buy my own rings only ring your sally when i'm feeling lonely when it's all over please get up in me Tell me how you feel about this Try to control me, boy, you get